I haven't made a new video in a while, but I bought this again about a month ago. This is the Taurus 24-7 G2 in a 9mm. This is the blued. I have the original version of the 24-7 in a 40 cal. Now this uh, 9mm is made by Taurus. It has a capacity of 17 plus 1 in the barrel. It weighs 28 ounces. The barrel length is 4.2 ounces. And the total length of the gun is 7.28 inches. Now some things that I'd like to note to you about this about this uh, firearm is uh, up here on top, right where my finger at, there is a loaded chamber indicator. Now when there is a round in the chamber, that little tiny piece of metal sticks up maybe uh, one or two millimeters. You have to look really hard and You'd have to rub your finger over it if it's in the dark or anything, really, to see um, if there's a round in the chamber. Also, which I don't have uh, the key on me, but there is the Taurus security system in it where uh, you can basically put the key in it and turn the, turn the firearm off. Then whenever you're ready to pick it up and use it, you would have to uh, find the key and turn the key on. Now... One little thing that I find interesting on this on this firearm is it does have ambidextrous safety. We got the uh, safety here. We have fire. We have fire, which is up. It's right there, and it has a decocker on it. And also, uh, for the left people that are left and right-handed, there it is, right there on the back too. Uh, very nice and very very interesting. I really like that. Um, it has an accessory rail right there on the front, as you can see. Uh, there's also, so I'll zoom in there, I'll bring the camera closer. There is a new trigger system, a uh, single action, double action trigger system. Uh, get a little bit closer there. You can see it's kind of like the, it's kind of like the Glock. You actually have to uh, put your finger on the trigger and on that little tongue that's sticking out uh, to discharge the firearm. It also has uh, the Novak sights for for nighttime use. Uh, the MSRP of this handgun is five hundred twenty-eight dollars and fifteen cents. I did purchase this one here for under four hundred dollars. I think I paid uh, was it three eighty-nine for it. Now, one of the big differences are uh, between the original model and the and this model is the takedown. Uh, the other one, the older models, he had to uh, uh, had to remove part of the gun to to take it apart. This one here, they've kind of copied the Glock, where you have this little device here, where you pull the barrel back about a quarter quarter inch, hold this down, and then you can pull the barrel, uh, pull the slide for it, and the whole thing falls apart for disassembly. Now with this with this gun here, I've probably put at least twelve hundred rounds. Threw it uh, downrange over at a, at a shooting range in Abilene, Texas. Um, I was using some really inexpensive uh, ammunition. I was also using ammunition that I had purchased uh, years ago. Uh, the firearm did eat all the ammunition that I put through it. Um, when we went to the firing range yesterday, there were two rounds that didn't fire with the first trigger pull but did discharge with the second trigger pull. Uh, probably the only thing that I dislike about this firearm is the trigger. Um, they made the trigger where it's a little safer to carry. So whenever you have a round in the chamber um, there's probably about five or six pounds of pressure where you got to pull the trigger all the way back through all that weight till it, till it fires. And uh, with the long trigger pulling with the weight my shot groups aren't really as accurate as they once were. Now at 10 yards, I could still uh, hit a man, you know, man-sized silhouette, either with my right hand or with my left hand, or holding the weapon properly with both hands. So it's uh, it hasn't really affected whether or not I can hit the whole target. But whenever you're dealing in the world of aim small, miss small. It's very difficult to keep a really tight shot group. Um, I'll probably be getting rid of this one because uh, I don't like the trigger on it and have them to purchase another one. 
Okay, well, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave it down at the bottom. And once again, thanks for watching.